County, so you need like a big wagon wheel to carry all your stuff to the beach. But it's so heavy, you get up there and like you're breaking your back, you're mm -hmm. pulling out your shoulder, you got like umbrellas and beach chairs flying all over the place. So they have invented something so brilliant, a motorized beach cart that can carry your 300, you know, pounds of gear to the beach. Okay, so how does it work, Jen? Okay, so first of all, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's called E Beach Wagon. That's correct. And you invented it because first you had a dog and you were dragging all the dog's stuff to the dog beach. Yeah, we had a dog beach and there's like a 200 yard trek to the beach through the thick sand and trying to drag all of that stuff through the thick sand to get to your destination. You, by the time you get there, you're all flustered and you know sweaty and stressed out. Okay, so we have the Fabozzi kids here. No relation to you, but I do know them. Meredith McGinn is their mom. Um, so far, do you like what you're seeing here? Absolutely. Okay, so tell us about the features. What do we need to see before we drive it? What am sure. I looking at? What makes this fabulous? All right, so this is fabulous because it has a, a aluminum frame, aluminum railings. Okay. Okay, it's electric, so it just moves on its own. You have a thumb throttle, a forward reverse switch. So all you have to do is hit the button and then the wagon moves. So well, you, you don't have to actually drag it at all. Okay, back up kids, I'm gonna drive. Okay, <laughs> so you said it's designed to kind of like halt for a second. Yeah, there's a little bit of hesitation built in so it doesn't run you over. Okay. And there you go, there you go. All right. And then you get to your desired speed and then you just walk with it. Okay, so hold on, let me just, you hold the mic. Sure. I'm, I'm busy concentrating. <laughs> oh yeah. I like it. Oh, I can go a little faster. Now, you said this isn't like the ideal beach conditions to try it out. Why is that? The sand is a little bit wet, so it's a little bumpity. Yeah. Uh, in the thick sand, you know, the, the tires kind of spread spread through the sand and it digs right through and, and gets... So, the, you know, that's the, the most challenging part is getting through the thick sand. And these uh, low-pressure balloon wheels is what makes it easy to do that. And you said people are using this like for lacrosse tournaments, soccer tournaments, so it's not like a three-month-a-year toy. Absolutely. So coaches or anybody who has, you know, their kids in sports and they carry a lot of gear. I, you know, when I was playing baseball, we had bags, bats, helmets, all that kind of stuff. You just pile that right into the wagon and, and drag it onto the field. Gus, get over here. You had the same question that I had, okay? My question about driving the thing, what did you want to ask him about, like, getting on top of it? Wait. Remember when you wanted to get on it and drive it while you're... Oh, oh, oh yeah, so... Wait, so my idea was you could get in this yes and then that was my idea and or and drive and, it around the beach right yeah and just drive yourself around the beach but he said no you he said no that. we can't why is that <laughs> i mean you could physically but it's not really intended to do that there are some laws in beach towns where you can't drive a motorized vehicle on the beach it's intended to walk with <laughs> it uh, <laughs> I, I'm, you're incredulous as am i nick do you have any questions about this thing i i think you couldn't like drive it on the car because uh, if you just went on the other side it would like break it, if you pulled. It, it's built very strong but yeah we would recommend not sitting in it because the handle doesn't really work that well when you do so Allie get over here all this stuff what would you put in this if you had one of these um Surfboard. Different surfboards. That was their other question. Okay, so there is, so there's like boogie boards here, but this right here is designed for what? Yeah, if you have extra long items, uh, like a long surfboard or something like that, the depression there, you can straddle something across if you don't have a whole bunch of stuff in the middle. Right. Okay. I'm going to ask you the dangerous question. How much is this thing? So that's the struggle with everyone, right? Is the price point. It's not cheap to make. Uh, it's, it retails for $23.99. Okay. Uh, but if you look at other beach wagons out there with the low pressure balloon wheels, you know, you're starting off at $500 without a motor. Some of them go up to like $1,500 without a motor. Oh, I need the motor. I got yeah, to have the motor. And, and we, have, we have USB charging ports too, so you can... Don't tell that to these gamer kids. You can charge your devices while you're on the beach. I look at Gus's face! Look at Gus's face! No, Gus, we're here to play with your toys that I'm dragging out to the beach. Get out of the way. I'm dragging the toys out to the beach for you. There's no phones today, Gus. That goes double for you, Nick. I'm dragging stuff. This is, I have to say, we, you really can't complain about dragging stuff anymore. No, it's, it's pretty dragging cool. Itself. Well done. Thank you.
But yeah, look, Mike, and like I said, you see, Gus and I, we're the same person, right? Because I said I would like to sit on this oh, well, yeah, and drive it like a beach car. I think car. every kid would. Yeah. And it was a, it's like a shopping But it's a solid yeah. no. It's a really, it's a N-O. Yeah, 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 I got it. Oh, wait, we have one more question from Gus. Um, so, could you make, like, um, the, the main, like, area? Area, like, could you make it bigger? Yeah, we could make it bigger. Yeah, yeah we can make it anything more. you want. But for now, it's just this size. <laughs> yeah. Um, he all right. The so size of a you Your name's not Mike Jericho. It's like a ride. So mm -hmm. what do you put it in to get to the beach? Would you have to have a pickup truck? Or an SUV, maybe in the back. If you're lucky enough to live close enough, oh, yeah, that's they could just put it underneath your garage and just like leave yeah. the stuff on it and just bring it up and back. So. You could take it to a grocery store from your house and load it up with groceries and walk it back to your home and put it in the garage. If you have to, if you're walking in the city, yeah. that's a mm -hmm. brilliant idea. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh,